Welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Oh my gosh, we have amazing stories for you today. Four big ones. We got the shades rolling because I'm feeling cool this morning. Oh my gosh, we got Jeff Grubb making some comments on Switch Pro stuff. Is he back on the Baden wagon and does it really matter? We'll get into that. Uh, we have a brand new update for Nintendo Switch Online. Kind of a surprise update given we weren't sure what to expect. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 also gets a bunch of updates. Not just the previews yesterday. We actually have brand new overviews today. New information. We're going to go over some of that stuff as well. And by the way, there's brand new games dropping on Switch. One of them dropping really soon. Some of them dropping next year. Both of these games that I'm going to talk about end up looking extremely impressive. One of them looks like an impossible game. But yet this trailer is running footage directly off of Switch. So this is going to be a lot of fun today. Before we get into these stories, though, I want to remind you... <coughs> let me take this off. Let's get back to business as usual. I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel. Drop a like. Leave a comment. Uh, we are on our road to 80,000 subscribers. When we do get to 80,000, we're going to begin a brand new giveaway for a Breath of the Wild Master Sword. It's a replica Master Sword with an actual steel blade, uh, a replica Hylian Shield, and a replica... Deku Shield. Uh, these giveaways don't. There's no way to enter right now. Uh, we started at eighty thousand, so uh, we'll we'll go from there. But y you should just be here because you want the news, including our first story. So this first one's a little bit of a non-story uh, because there's no new information about like the Switch Pro or Switch 4K. But I was just watching the uh, podcast from Jeff Grubb yesterday, and he talked about how he's actually getting back on the Switch Pro bandwagon. Now, he doesn't want a Switch Pro at this point. He was very, very clear about this. He's off of the desire for a Switch Pro, and he's been off the Switch Pro happening in general. He's been sort of like, hey, look, we'll get like a Switch 2 in 2024. That's basically his presumption. But after the Splatoon 3 OLED edition came out, and the uh, person who you know basically leaked that information to the public stated we were still getting a Switch Pro in 2022, revealed in September... Uh, he's kind of like, hey, what am I supposed to do? This guy uh, that leaked this out there nailed it, absolutely nailed it, and does appear to be really well connected with a long trackable history in China. So this is one of those things where he's like, he doesn't know what to do. He's hopping right back on that Switch Pro bandwagon, although it's a sort of a tepid hopping on because he doesn't actually want it to happen. He just thinks it's going to, and that Nintendo is going to release it this holiday or something like that again he has no new information to add to the fray the last time he heard anything about switch pro was back last year so after switch oled was announced the day it was announced later in that day last year he mentioned how hey everything he's heard from his sources says 2022 he hasn't heard any new information to confirm or change that so here we stand uh are we getting a switch pro at all i don't know uh jeff grubbs back on that bandwagon journalist video game chronicle giant bomb uh, his co-host of the podcast is totally off it but i think it's because he's just tired of getting excited and then getting burned i get it we've all been there so let's just move on to the next story all right next up here uh nintendo switch online has been updated oh i'm finally 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 we have a real update here for nintendo switch online that i kind of care about and that's because there are brand new games heading to the Nintendo 64 app. Now, here in the United States, we are going to be getting, on July 15th, Pokemon Puzzle League. And I, I honestly think Pokemon Puzzle League looks fantastic. I never played it back in the day, so I actually have a, a really keen interest to try this game out. I've heard a lot of really, really good things about it. And it feels like I must have missed out as a kid uh, with this one, being an old-school Pokemon fan. What's also cool is in Japan, they are getting Custom Robo and Custom Robo V2. I have never played those games as well. And because Switch is region free, I can just download the Japanese uh, app and enjoy those games as well. So I'm actually really excited about these additions. These are some of the first new additions to N64 of games I haven't actually played. And Nintendo's still doing it. They're still sticking to releasing an N64 game every month. I, I like this. It's showing some consistency. So even though we don't know what games are coming, they haven't stopped adding at least one a month. So here's hoping. Here's hoping that knock on wood, Nintendo's finally going to at least be consistent with releases of N64 games like they have so far. Although they've been consistent with NES and SNES in the past and then they just stopped. So I guess we'll just wait and see. 
Next up, we have a story on Xenobreak Chronicles 3. So a lot of information is out there, and I don't want to go over every little minute detail. If you want to, to get like every single minute, minor little blip about this game, you're going to go... Go ahead and go subscribe to Player Essence on YouTube here. Uh, he's all on top of this. He's basically an expert when it comes to the Xenoblade franchise and JRPGs in general. One of the best JRPG channels on YouTube. So definitely, if you want every little minute detail, big shout out to him. Go watch his stuff. But we're going to talk about some of the bigger things here. And here's where, where, where I, I want to inform you guys. If you're looking for a much longer deep dive into this game nintendo actually dropped a eight minute overview trailer today that goes over a lot of stuff now as far as i'm aware this trailer is only available in japanese at the moment maybe there'll be an english version uploaded later but it is out there you're actually seeing footage from it right now uh and what's really cool one of the big news we heard today that they announced on twitter is that worldwide this game will be launching with english and Japanese voice acting and won't be an additional download. It'll be right there on the cartridge in the base game. They felt like this was an important announcement to make because some people prefer to listen to different voice acting. Uh, they don't always want like, oh, let's have English or let's have Japanese or just subtitles. Like, what? Let, give us all of the voice acting options. So I, I like that they're doing that. That is a change over Xenoblade Chronicles 2 where it was an update that came later. Uh, and also, all the previews that dropped yesterday praised the hell out of the game. Uh, I haven't really seen anyone in any of these previews have a, any complaints. All of them basically say the game looks really really good visually it looks like they're they're somehow not handicapped anymore uh and they're able to do a whole bunch of crazy things they've really fixed up the menus they've made the tutorials completely optional so if you're like a veteran and you're like hey i don't really want these tutorial things in the first hour or so hey you could just turn them off and it's not a big deal the cutscenes look incredible the combat looks incredible everything in the previews it makes it sound like it's at a locked 30 fps however you know, they do know, hey, maybe like later in the game with bigger battles, maybe there'll be some dips, but they're just speculating because they can't talk about that yet. Uh, they are playing the uh, actual game. Like they have the review copy. So that's where this preview coverage is coming from. It wasn't like a preview event. They actually have the game right now so they can review it, which makes a lot of sense for a game like this because this is the game that could take hundreds of hours. So you're going to need it super early if you're going to actually do a full uh, a full in-depth review uh, and, and give the game its proper dues. You don't want to give them just a week and be like, man, how the hell are we squeezing 200 hours of gameplay into a week? That's, that's, uh, that's not realistically possible. So... Anyways, I, I do I do find this to be really good. I think Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is looking absolutely incredible. Uh, I am working hard to to get some special guests on for later in this month who can talk at length about this game uh, and, and give us some expert opinions and analysis. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, let's get into our next story. And this is the last one of today, but there's kind of a, a double pack in here that I find really interesting. So uh, some new games were announced yesterday for Nintendo Switch. One of these new games is completely brand new called RoboCop Rogue City. So RoboCop is back. It's going to PlayStation 5, Xbox, PC, and Switch. So it's going to everything. So the big thing about the RoboCop Rogue City stuff is it looks cool, but we have no idea if this is going to be native on Switch, if this is going to be, uh, you know, one of those streaming games. I how excited should we actually be for this for Switch? I don't know, but you can be excited in general that this game exists. We also saw our first gameplay for Gollum. Not really going to talk too much about it because I still don't really know what that game is. And we haven't seen it running natively on Switch yet. And the Switch version is delayed. However, we also got to see a game running on Switch for the first time ever. Releasing later this month, July 21st, called Bright Memory infinite you're seeing this trailer right now this is all gameplay directly recorded in tv mode uh, as they know this is native on switch this is not a stream so this is play being played native on switch hardware and if you're looking at this and wondering how the hell is switch running this game you're not alone in fact this is exactly why bright memory infinite's even getting attention today i don't know that anybody knew what this game was until this trailer dropped because everyone's looking at this trailer today and going that's on switch what that's a switch game yeah running natively on switch at up to 1080p that obviously means there's gonna be dynamic resolution scaling but that is uh impressive now again i don't know that this game is going to actually be good uh <laughs> that that's that you know just being impressive visually and looking like you have some cool gameplay mechanics doesn't necessarily mean the game's going to be good but what it does mean is somehow 
some way in 2022, all of these developers from Xenoblade Chronicles, Monolith Soft, obviously to the people here behind uh, Bright Memory Infinite, are finding ways to take advantage of Switch's hardware that I don't think many of us thought possible since we are getting the best looking games we've ever seen on Switch today. Now, this is actually normal in a console generation. Usually, as you get deeper and deeper in, the games get better and better looking. Like the best looking PlayStation 4 games came out in the final year. PlayStation 4 was the primary platform. That is totally normal but people didn't actually expect this from switch they thought we topped out at doom eternal and like that's it hey doom eternal you look at all this resolution stuff and like hey we topped out switch is done and yet here we are in 2022 and games are starting to look better than ever even without new hardware so uh showing the switch has a little bit of life still in it uh i don't know play it between this and and uh xenoblade chronicles 3 I, you know maybe you end up melting a few of these switches <laughs> i have no idea but uh this is pretty cool and I, i'm just glad to see switch continuing to get some third-party support i know we're not getting everything but we, when we are getting stuff like this it just it's just so damn impressive because it doesn't look like this should even be here and yet we'll get to play this on the 21st and hopefully it ends up being a pretty good game Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rubble Jance from the Center Prime. I want to thank all you guys for tuning in. Uh, we've been, you know, getting back to the, the the Prime news thing here. You know, we we had about three what, three episodes this week. Uh, you know, I can't promise there'll be one every day, Monday through Friday, because it depends on the news. We have to have enough news to actually do one. But we are still going to have daily videos. Might still have another video later today as well. Uh, we'll see on that. Uh, probably. I can almost guarantee there'll be at least one more video today. Since it is Friday, we don't live stream on Fridays because my fiance gets some work early. So we, we spend some time together watching shows and, and relaxing. So you guys are amazing. I want to thank all of you for being here and supporting the channel with your views. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.